When I went to Costco today, I made an impulse buy. I'll tell you why right after this. What's up? Welcome to the Fight Cave. It's your boy Big Pete, and uh, I know what I said. I said I was gonna get Golden Axe, I was gonna get Big Buck Hunter, but here we are. Got a brand new NBA Jam Tournament Edition machine in my arcade, and uh, I was shopping. I saw the cab. A wave of nostalgia hit me. Um, I'm really attached to my Star Wars cabinet because that represents a lot of my childhood to me. But uh, NBA Jam definitely represents uh, a lot of my teenage years pumping quarters into this cabinet. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go over um, some of the, the features that are only exclusive to the Costco cabinet so far. I've had a couple of, of, of uh, quality control issues. One of them will be talked about when talking about the exclusives. The other will be talked about after that. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into the regular features of this cabinet because uh, I got a wide range of, of subscribers. I want to make sure that if you really don't know what Arcade One Up is all about, I kind of give you a little quick uh, a review of it. Okay, let's go over the features that are exclusive right now as of September 1st, 2020 to Costco. Okay, it's going to come with a tournament edition uh, sign topper and it's uh, made of a pretty uh, thick plastic. Uh, one of the problems that I had is that it did not come with the eye screws. Okay, it's supposed to come with five eye screws and I got zero. And it attaches uh, with three screws on the inside and two in the back. And they both, all the screws attach onto the marquee. So uh, in the spare part bag, there was one. So I was able to attach it with just that one. But, uh, you know, it's not going to move around a lot or be loose or come off by itself. So it's not a big deal until Arcade One Up can send me uh, replacements. It just wasn't ideal. But moving on, we have the marquee okay so as of right now only costco has a one that says tournament edition on it which is pretty cool i like that and um the only problem i, I feel is that this marquee really looks washed out and uh, i don't know if they need to improve the vinyl graphics the translucent vinyl graphics or they just need better acrylic but uh yeah it looks it doesn't look that good it, it's probably it's a very nice a cabinet overall but uh, that, that marquee, or at least the marquee I got, I have to check out how other ones look. It definitely is lacking. And moving on to the third exclusive feature to the Costco bundle is that you have light up marquees. You have the red, white, and blue, just, just like the colors of the NBA logo. And uh, the fourth is going to be um, these basketball joysticks and I know a lot of people probably hate them I hated them at first but they've kind of grown on me uh, probably gonna replace them with uh, bats only because they're they're a lot more comfortable okay now the fifth exclusive feature that's available on these Costco bundles is that it comes with two LED strips that turn off with a little toggle um, I'm kind of don't have enough outlets right now. I have uh, five other Arcade One Up cabinets. Four of them already have those LEDs that require another outlet. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm out of, I don't really don't want to go through the trouble of having to figure it out where to put uh, another two plugs in. So we'll just deal with one more. And, uh, but it, it is a 15 to $20 value. And, uh, you know, I think you look at the sign, the marquee, um, the buttons, you know, the joysticks, I know a lot of people can do without, but you're paying the exact same price as you would at, at Walmart or Best Buy. So there definitely is an added value to this Costco bundle. Moving on. Okay, to begin, I want to talk about uh, the problem that seems to keep on happening with this cabinet. And that is for these wooden pegs, they seem to be um, not uh, machined in all the way. So um, 
in the past, this has kind of been my biggest problem as well, except these little wooden pegs would be a uh, varying size of um, a width. They'd be a little too fat. And when you kind of force them in, because this is, uh, what's the word? Compressed board, I, I don't even know. But it's not real wood, okay? Um, it, it's very easy to crack and you're risking damage. So I kind of did that with my uh, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back where it didn't fit in all the way because it was too fat and it kind of warped uh, the side of my cabinet. So here again, I mean, look, these, these are the exact same size and one goes in all the way this way. This goes all the way in. I had a similar issue here and what I did is I just cut it down because I had to take this apart. I was about 90% done and um, I had to take it apart because this wouldn't flip, uh, fit flush because this is way too long. It was, it was maybe even worse than up here inside in regards to uh, you know the depth of how far it will go in. So right now I'm taking it apart. Uh, I already had to do this uh, two other times. Uh, but I thought I could get away with it on top and I can't. So um, I already cut this one. I need to size this one down. This one's already been cut a little bit. Or no, what? Yeah, that one's been cut already a little bit and uh, I need to cut it a little bit more. Okay. If you are not very familiar with Arcade One Up and their products, they are three quarter scale uh, arcade replicas, I guess you could say. Uh, they usually come with 17 inch monitors. They're about uh, a little over four half feet. Um, so not too tall. And uh, they range from, you know, 18 inches to 31 inches wide. The ones that are 31 inches are the ones that are four player, just like this one in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What makes this cabinet so special besides the fact that I pumped so many quarters into it when I was a teenager, that it's the first RK one up product to feature the live feature. What the live feature means is that it has a built-in Wi-Fi and it's able to connect to the internet and you're able to play other players who also have this cabinet. So it's a feature that I have not really done much. I think the consensus is if you have a great Wi-Fi connection, you're gonna have a good experience. As long as, of course, the people you're playing with have a great Wi-Fi connection. But uh, yeah, the online features are something that I'm gonna to have to explore and look into. But NBA Jam definitely is gonna have a special place in my heart. Um, not only that, you know, as a sports fan, you see names like um, Chris Mullen and Latrell Sprewell, you know, on the Golden State Warriors. And yeah, I remember playing these guys when, you know, back in the 90s, so. It, it really, it really, this one really does hit that nostalgia button pretty hard. And uh, I'm very, very happy to have it in my collection, even though I said that I was not going to add, add it to my collection because I only had room for uh, Golden Axe and uh, Big Buck Hunter. But it probably looks like I might have to not get Big Buck, Hunt, Big Buck Hunter. But, you know, to be truth be told, I never played it. I thought it would just be cool to have a uh, shooter in the, in the arcade. So... Uh, and hey, it looks like I'm gonna save 150 bucks too. So we all got to make sacrifices, man. So that'll be my sacrifice uh, uh, this year. And my arcade went up. So thanks for watching. Any question or comments, do not hesitate. And until next time.